Everyone, my name is Luke. This is the Outdoor Gear Review, and what I have here is the Nemo Puffin Blanket. Puffin Blanket. Nemo. This is an interesting product for summertime use. Instead of using a sleeping bag or a specific quilt, an outdoor specific quilt, you could potentially use something like this. Well, I have been for the last couple of months, and I have plenty of good things to say about the Puffin Blanket. Hako, where are you? Hey, Hako. Ah, Hakos. So when it comes to the Nemo Puffin Blanket, you should know that there are two versions of this out on the market. You have the regular size version, which is 99 bucks, and you have a deluxe two-person version that is 150. The weight of the one person is two pounds, three ounces. This blanket has been out for a while and there are numerous colors out on the market. With each generation, you get new colors. So the colors that are available depend on when you're seeing this video and what you can find stock-wise on other websites, such as Backcountry, REI, Amazon, and so on. When it comes to the pack size, you are looking at 14 inches by 12 inches by five inches. The fill weight of this blanket is one pound, five ounces. The dimensions of the blanket itself is 57 inches by 85 inches. When it comes to the outer material, you are looking at a 40D nylon. This is a micro ripstop, and it features a water repellent treatment. The insulation is a stratofiber synthetic fill. Now already, folks, you can see an interesting aspect to this blanket. It has buttons at the end, so you can fold the fabric over and essentially make a pocket for your feet to go into while you're sleeping. It's an awesome feature. It's well thought out, and I tell you what, it works very, very well. I've been testing out this product here for the last couple of months, and it's lightweight, it's warm, it is perfect for summertime use. Most of the reviews that I've found for this product, people have been using this as like a, like a living room blanket. They cover up with it, watch TV, cold nights, that sort of thing. I've been using it for backpacking, and I like it. I really do. There's not much to complain about. At $99, you would think that a con would be the price. But no, not really. When you compare this to other products that are out on the market, the pricing is very similar. Thermarest has their tech blanket. I believe that's $100. There's other companies out there. Some have products that are more expensive. Some are a little bit cheaper. With the Puffin Blanket, it really does fall into that ballpark of being comparable to everything else that's out on the market. Flipping this around here, put my feet in, I can cover up, and this easily can go up to your neck and even further, even if you're a tall individual. So you can cover up, you can tuck it in if you need to. It's pretty warm today, it's not something that I wanna do, I'm doing that for you all. You can roll over on your side and there's plenty of material to cover your backside. You can pull it up around your face, do whatever you need to do. And let's say that you don't need the pocket to tuck your feet into. You can simply pull the buttons through. Just pull the button through. You no longer have the pocket. Now, when it comes to this material here, there is something about it that is slightly different than your average sleeping bag or quilt. And it does make this blanket a little bit softer. It's a little bit better against the skin, in my opinion. Some people do not like that silky sort of feel when it comes to a sleeping bag. This is still a little bit silky, but it's not to the same extent. The material is just a little bit softer. In the summertime, I'm a huge fan of blankets because I'm hot natured. Usually by like the break of morning, I'm getting a little bit cold. That's when I want to put on my blanket all over my body. Otherwise, I have like one leg out, one arm, <laughs> toss and turn all night. That's how it is. Susan says that I talk in my sleep. She says I say all sorts of weird stuff. If my daughter happens to watch this video, honey, I'm sorry, you got it from me. She talks in her sleep and it's scary. It sounds like she's chanting. <laughs> Anyways, thanks to the design of this blanket and those buttons, you can do all sorts of cool things. Let's say you don't need a blanket, you can turn this into a pillow. You can simply fold this all up. You can put the buttons through. Then you can turn it into a body size pillow. Ah, oh, just like so. You can fold it over. Ah. Oh. That is very, very comfortable right there. In the summertime, 
the breeze is coming through your tent, the sun is going down, you're kicking back, relaxing, it's not bad. When it comes to a temperature rating for a product like this, you will find that most companies do not give one, and that's because it's extremely difficult to do. Everybody's different, and also with a blanket, it will be hard. It will be difficult to seal this thing up 100%. With that being said, I've used this down to roughly 45 degrees, and I've been very warm. Hello, buzzard. When Susan and I were out for the overland trip, temperatures got down to around 52. She was warm. Of course, your mileage will vary depending on who you are, hot natured, cold natured, and so on. With that being said, let's jump to the review right now, starting with the pros. This is an awesome summertime blanket. Summertime use for most conditions, most locations, this is awesome. You are going to stay nice and warm. You can button up the foot box if you need it. If it's getting cold, you can have one leg out, one arm out, whatever you want. That's what I like about it. The material, as mentioned before, is nice and soft. This does compress fairly small. You can even use this product in cooler temperatures and add this to your sleeping bag. This is an excellent product to kind of stuff in there with you to give you that extra loft so you can stay extra warm. A nice aspect to using a blanket is that it's not constrictive. You have complete freedom of movement, and I like that. Because of the materials, because this is a synthetic fill, this is easy to wash. That's a huge plus especially for your outdoor needs. You might wake up in the morning, it's nice and cold. You wanna wrap up around the fire, you can do that with this blanket. Then you can take it home and wash it very easily. Much easier than say washing your sleeping bag. When it comes to quality, it's very, very good. There's no issues with stitching. I've been using this for multiple months throughout the summer. No issues at all. It's held up well. No loose threads or anything like that. Pretty much typical Nemo quality. Nemo makes very good products in general, and this is a good product. Before moving to the cons, I have to say this does work well in a hammock. As far as cons go, it's not down, right? But of course, if you wanted a down blanket, the price would go up, 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 and up. Talking about price, you could say that $100 is a con, 100 bucks. But again, it is comparable to other products out of the market. If you are looking for something like this, you will pay right around $100, if not more. So I'm not going to count that really as a con because it is what it is, right? If you wanna find a good deal on one of these, you know, set an alert on eBay, find one for cheap. That's what I did. This actually came from eBay. I purchased this three or four months ago, something like that, and I paid roughly 50 bucks for it. This is a product that I've been wanting to test out for a while. I'm glad I got this in because I do like it. I like it enough to the point where I would spend the $100 for it. This is a very versatile piece of kit. Going back to price for one second, it should be mentioned that you can purchase a poncho liner for roughly 20 bucks. You can buy quite a few poncho liners for the same price as this. Now, of course, one poncho liner does not equal this blanket. It's much thicker, much warmer. It's also quite a bit bigger as well. Well, everybody, that pretty much wraps it up. This is the Nemo Puffin Blanket. If you have one of these or use one of these, make sure to share your experiences and your thoughts. What do you all think about Nemo in general? Let me ask you all that. Do you guys like their tents? Do you like their products, their sleeping bags? I've always wanted to get in one of the sleeping bags that have the zippable vents. I think that's really, really neat. Maybe in the future, I will, maybe. But when it comes to the Puffin, all in all, I do like this quite a bit. This is a good product. I really have no complaints. If you can find it used and at a good price, awesome. If you have to buy it brand new, you're still getting a great product. Very warm, well thought out. I like the features. I really like that foot box. The fact that you can button that up, shove your feet in, your feet don't come out during the night. That's pretty sweet. It really is. All in all, it's a good product. If you have a question, email me. Until next time, strength and honor. I'll see you guys around. Bye. By the way, everyone, let me ask you all a question. What do you think about the new camera? What do you think about the quality here? Yes, I got a new camera. I had to because the GH5, the autofocus was so bad. It was getting on my nerves. <laughs> it was making me work so much harder to edit the videos because of that pulsing. I would have to film extra B-roll just to cover it up. Huge pain in the butt. So, yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Bye, everybody.